Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of 5 Minutes with Phil. I hope you're doing well. I thank you for joining me as we unpack the Word of God together once again. And today, we're going to go all the way to the beginning of the Bible. Uh, this is right as God is creating everything. Heaven, earth, the 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 water, the air, the animals, mankind, everything. He's, uh, he's done all that. And there is a, there's an example that God not only sets for us in getting rest, but I think there's a bigger picture here that I'd like to uncover for you uh, as we take a look at God resting from his work. First of all, let's take a look at the word of God, okay? We're in Genesis chapter 2, and we're going to start in verse 1 and go to verse 3. Ready? So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because it was the day when he rested from all his work of creation. Now, a lot of us, when we've grown up in the church, we, we see God resting from his work of creating everything. And we get this picture painted of God uh, being worn out, that God was exhausted after he created the heavens and the earth and everything everything in between. And I don't think that that is necessarily the, the right picture that we want to paint here. Now, granted, okay, the, the, the Lord would want us to get rest when we need it, okay? And he declares that and and he made this holy and and I think he set that in place so that mankind would rest. We're we're not wired to constantly work and never rest. That's not how we're created. But let's take a look again at God's perspective now. Okay, was God tired? Was God exhausted? Was God worn out? I don't think so. I don't think God needed a nap. I don't think God needed to sleep in the next day. Um I think what happened was God created everything and then he rested. And what he did, he, if I could use this terminology, he sat back and he saw that it was good. And he had total control over everything. He created it and then he sat back and was in total control of it all. Now, why is that important? Because I think sometimes we get this idea that God looks at our situation and is totally uh, out of sorts because of what we're facing. And he's lost control and he's stressed out and he's panicking because uh, I I did this or this happened over here or this is going on in, in this part of the world and, 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 and I don't view God that way at all. I think God sits back and looks at me and looks at you and looks at the world and he's not panicked at all. He's in control. God's got this. Now let's make it personal. When he sees my health issue, when he sees the stress in my job, when he sees the circumstances in my family, is he panicking? No. No. He, he is resting. He is sitting back and he is in control. There has never been, I want you to hear this, there has never been nor will there ever be a moment where God is not in control. He's got this, he's got you, he's got me, he's got our situation, 
He's got our circumstances. And that is a picture of a God that I love to worship. A God who is absolutely maintaining control throughout all the difficulty that I might be facing. And I hope that that blesses you like it blessed me. Thanks for joining me. We love you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Lord willing, we'll see you next time. We love you. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.